All right, we are back again. Space City Brothers Podcast. Space City Brothers Podcast. This is what, like, episode four? Four. Uh, we are recording this the last few days of Black History Month. Yes. I'm definitely going to go see Black Panther right after this. I was going to go this morning until I realized I couldn't walk. And I was just like, you know what? It'll still be there. It'll be in theaters for like the next three months, four months. Are are movies in theaters that long? Yeah. If they're good, they are. If they're like Thor Ragnar, I think it's still in theaters someplace. Was that that long ago? Yeah, Thor Ragnar was like, what, November? December, Uh, November? I don't know. I haven't seen it. I was going to try to watch it today. Thor Ragnar? Oh, yeah. I saw this shit on my fire stick. You know, we went to theaters and then it's it's clear on Fire Stick now though, like 1080p. I heard it was good, but I had I no desire it. to pay money to go see it. <laughs> Off the sauce and I'm geeked up. Don't come with that weak stuff. Boy, Sean, I'm in beast mode. I'm a G nigga, live the G come. Off the sauce and I'm geeked up. Don't come with that weak stuff. Boy, Sean, I'm in beast mode. I'm a G nigga, live the G come. So we are back. I am your host, Henny Pendergrass. This, this, your boy, Space City Walt, aka the Dynamic Mercenary. <laughs> this nigga is Wu Tang ass name. How, why don't you have a Wu Tang name? Because my Wu Tang name was trash. What <laughs> like, is it? I forgot what it was. It was some corny shit though. It was like I mean, Childish clown. Gambino is corny, so yeah, that is that you, is. Very you just corny. gotta rock with it. That is you either gotta. Corny. He made it. He made it popular. You though. gotta basically decide if you're gonna use your middle name. I probably have to because your middle name. name changes it. So I use my middle name I'm and my and, and my suffix to make sure. Because my if I just put my first and last name, it comes out to like some retarded shit. Like it, <laughs> it, it comes out to like irate Swami. Like bro, I'm not, that's, that's I'm not about to have people calling me that. Fuck out of here. Leg like leg like like Wu Tang names was just all that weird. Like Ghostface Killer. These ghosts, he shoots things in the face. He's a killer. Yeah. No, the Ghostface Killer is okay, straight yeah. from a kung fu movie. Okay, it yeah. was people who would wear white, like super white powder and stuff. Oh, okay. That's straight from a kung fu movie. It's, it's, okay, I, I'm sorry. It's, it's like Raekwon the Chef. Okay, yeah. Those names are kind of weird. <laughs> the Rizza, the Jizza, Old Dirty Bastard. Well, Rizza and Jizza are cousins. So they just came up with that together. Oh, uh, see, I didn't even know that. Old Dirty Bastard. I mean, that dude was crazy. That name kind of fits. Old Dirty Bastard wasn't even like the best rapper in Wu Tang, but he probably was like the most, if not the if the most influential. Nah, he wasn't the most influential. Like, he was he was like the most. <clears throat> he he was the most New York out of them. Yeah, like he was just grimy. He did the most randomest shit. <laughs> like if you had to put a face on Wu Tang, I would definitely put Old Dirty Bastard's face up there. Yeah, he did like all the the all the mic money. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was listening to that one song you had with Mariah Carey. Which is can we talk about that? How you get how does Old uh, Dirty Bastard get a song with Mariah Carey? And it was a jam. Though. I really want to say it's Honey, but I know it's not that. It's um. I think it is. It's no, honey? it's not Honey. Honey is a uh, bad boy. Um. Oh, it's uh, my boyfriend. Yeah, that shit. And that shit used to jam, but bro, was- I heard that song on the radio one day. And then I looked up that, and I looked up the Honey remix. I couldn't stop singing them for a month, <laughs> bro, because they are so good. But the thing is, it's like Old Dirty Bastard. It's like it's not like he's recording his shit through like a tin can, but it fucking works. Nah, I think that's just his voice. It's just just so no, like, but it feel like his cigarette. His vocals was like underneath this, like the, his quality, whatever he, quality studio he was using. It was just so cigarette laden. Like he, yeah. he smoked too many cigarettes. He drank too much and just wrecked his vocal cords. So he was extra. But he raspy. was still hard though. Like you can you cannot ODB. If you had to rank Wu Tang members, it'd probably be like ODB. No, but you don't think ODB first? Hell no. I, I mean, I'm talking about as skills, but I'm talking about just members. Period. Like, what does that mean? Just like, I guess I want to say about popularity. What does that mean? Like, like I don't know. Like, just who you? I don't know. Just like, mm-hmm. like as your favorite Wu Tang member. 
Put it like that. Without rapping. Like, we're not talking about just rapping. But even though ODB wasn't, like, the best rapper, he still had, like, bars, and he still had great songs, too. I mean, how are you going to have me pick a favorite Wu-Tang member without rapping? That's just no I'm just no saying, point. like, I mean, okay, all right, here's a here's a hypothetical. Who, who's better rapper, Ro, uh, Rayquan Chef or Ghostface Killer? Oh, that's a tough decision. That's a tough decision, like... <laughs> I don't know. That's hard. That's what. I don't know. Raekwon Raekwon is more. Um, Raekwon is more bars. Well, Raekwon Raekwon is easier palatable. Like you can take in a Raekwon verse much easier. But Ghostface is just a wild card. Like Ghostface will fucking take a full OD song and then just rap over it, <laughs> bro. That's that's just be the that's just be the best ones though. Like like the song. Uh, La 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 la. He just raps over the whole song while the dude is singing. Singing in the back, bro. And that's, <laughs> he rapped that over. Just works. It. Like I love that shit. Are like, that one song? You're a big girl now. And this nigga just no going hard on it, saying girl. the most disrespectful shit. And then uh, I fed a baby to a lion to see if he can have, if, if he could fly or some shit like that. And then he made struck a death. He made maybe he made supreme clientele, and yeah. it's hard for me to put stuff over supreme clientele. That's struck a death. Oh my god. <laughs> Step into oh my the party, it's me. God Almighty. Go still holding that shoddy. Dustin. Put like a little snippet of it in this hoe. A little 30 seconds so people know what you're talking about. And right here. <laughs> turn it on. If I had to if I had to pick my favorite. I would definitely go with I like I like I like Ghostface Killer, but Raekwon the Chef. I like Ghostface Killer for like he say some shit to make you feel like 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 live and shit. He be like, Yeah, I had ten keys in the back of a Honda, got stopped by a cop, some, some, some. Oh, I hit I hit the jewels in my mom's house, had to come back on the third of May. Like he just say gangster shit. Raekwon will spit. Like Raekwon Yeah, spits. like on uh... Who's that? School went out. He's like, get out the way and let the shoddy dispense. Yeah, bro. I was like, that was so dope. That's so dope. Oh man, Ghostface Killer is one of the best. And then Ashley Bronson came and like completely stole his style. But like, to talk about. like stole his style and the way he raps, like his whole persona. He just, yeah, he got called out for it. Yep, and he's still cooking now because you know white people. Nah, he stopped rapping like that. The stuff I've heard of Action. Action Bronson oh, After I that no, He no, stopped no, doing that I'm gonna have to go back And listen It's the boy Bronson Lino Two tone Chevy With a two tone bitch Riding beside me <laughs> Like that's some Ghostface killer shit Oh man So I have a theory bro What is What you, what you got So I can say it right OJ And now correct me if I'm wrong Up until recently OJ has excelled At every facet of his life uh, He was an amazing football player Except who for won. staying out of prison No 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 wait, well, that, I said, That's why I say up until recently He was an amazing football player He won a Heisman He was in the NFL I think he I don't know if he won a Super Bowl But I know he had a long career In the NFL hey, are, you getting, was, are you getting like a A noise floor Like a Um mm. Like a buzzing in your headphones? Mm-hmm. I could, okay, don't worry about it. I think mine is just trash. No, I don't hear it. I think it's just my headphones. Don't worry about it. Keep going. He wasn't he was a good actor. He was a talented actor for a minute. Are we sure about that? He had like two, three, four, five movies, I think. He was he was he was he was recognizable in the Lethal Lethal Weapon movies with Mel Gibson. OJ was in Lethal Weapon? Mm-hmm. That was a different black dude. No, that was OJ. No, it wasn't. I think that was OJ. That was not that OJ was a top, Lethal it was, Weapon. It was, Hell no, that wasn't OJ Lethal Weapon, my That guy. was OJ. You are He's absolutely wrong. OJ was in Naked Gun. Naked Gun. That's what I'm, I'm bugging. <laughs> I'm bugging. I can't remember. <laughs> OJ well, was, shit, it's like Lethal Weapon, Naked Gun, and it's the ones that Eddie Murphy did. You are racist. <laughs> <laughs> All old black dudes don't. But look I'm just saying, like he, he 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 success he 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 succeeded in oh, acting, and on top of that. He got away with murder. <laughs> he succeeded in crime up until recently. I mean, was, that doesn't count. He was succeeded. No, he got away Everybody. with killing. He got away with killing two people, and I think he beat a nigga. 
so he, I'm pretty sure he beat the murder charges, but then he went to prison for trying to steal for, for, for kidnapping people to take back his memorabilia. That's what I'm saying. Up until recently, that nigga was winning at, at, his, at just his life, and now he's it. gotten out of jail and he's still kind of winning. He out here fucking uh, middle aged moms and shit. I mean, not getting like seventy six. He was doing that in a, before he got uh before he got before he uh got clinked up. Chloe, <laughs> you mean uh Chris? I'm saying Chloe because that's his child. Yeah, because he was knocking down Chris. <laughs> oh, nah, let's not let's not give her too much credit because if she was, I mean, get her, was she giving her credit for getting it. nutted in. I'm saying if Chloe was black, she would have like, I feel like she would have a fat ass, but she doesn't. I mean, them Kardashian jeans are strong. Yeah. Wait, is she? Yeah, them Kardashian jeans are strong. Wait, I mean, what's the she, mom's maiden name? Uh, it's not Jenner, and it's not Kardashian. She white. Her mama white, white. I mean, Zoe Kravitz's mom is white, so I mean. Just a pale jean. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't her mom uh, the chick from uh Yeah, you fucking <laughs> Cosby show. The only but reason I said that is no because I was so scrolling through matter. a random website. She came up and I was like, yeah, she half white. Yeah, that's not correct. Gina Torres. No. Why am I saying random names? I don't uh, know. Rashida Jones. Rashida. That's Res- not her daughter. That's not his daughter, though. That's not his real daughter. Yeah, huh? No, it's not. <laughs> Rashida Jones is not that nigga's real daughter. Okay, baby. Look that shit up. Bit money. Look that shit up. It's like it's, he he adopted her or some shit like that. No, you thinking of uh Rashida Jones. No, you thinking of Nicole Richie. I'm not thinking of Nicole, Nicole Richie. Richie is the one that is adopted, but she's actually half black too. I thought I thought Rashida Jones was another nigga's Baby was another nigga's daughter, but he married the mama. Her name is Rashida, like Hood Rashida, R A S H I D A. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm getting everything mixed up today. The daughter of Peggy Lipton and music musician, Riker producer Quincy Jones. You're thinking of uh, Nicole, I might be Nicole. You're Ritchie. thinking of Nicole Richie, where um, <laughs> Lionel Richie Jones look exactly like Lionel, a white woman. <laughs> Lionel Richie adopted her. From his um, friend That was the musician The but, musician yeah Yeah but her actual dad Is black Really? Yes Really? Her biological father Peter Michael Escovito Is the brother of Sheila E And her biological mother Is Karen Moss She's three years old Her biological parents Agreed to let her move in With Lionel Richie Because they could not Afford to provide for her My parents were friends With Lionel She told people They trusted that We would be That They would be able To better provide for me so she's not related to Lionel Richie, but but shit, she goes by that name. Yeah, and it, the dude's name is Peter Michael Escovito. So <laughs> black and Italian, black and Latin, something like that. It's always weird for me to see Alameda because I automatically read Alameda. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you're a Houston nigga. I automatically read Alameda, <laughs> which is funny because I got a ticket on Alameda the other day. Uh, but go pay that. Oh, you got it the other day. Apparently, he uh, apparently I was doing sixty two and a forty five, even though it's only like a one mile stretch. Or is that speed? Oh no, but you got you got hitting, you got hitting a, a speed trap. And then, but it, see, it was on a Friday night, and then immediately after he was done with my ticket, he went and got somebody else. And my unprofessionalness with my phone still on. Immediately after he finished my ticket, he pulls over somebody else. Like right after. Like he oh, so pulls he was away. Just guessing. He pulled away. I was like, man, this some bull. I pulled away. He immediately <laughs> he he immediately hey, pulled somebody over. To, he still has to put it. <laughs> Cause I was trying to get through the point. You gotta ride it you gotta ride it out, my guy. Um hey Nas. Nice. Uh-huh. My guys. Yeah. And then when I got through Pearland, I saw like five more cop cars. So oh, they, no. They, they was just out here, bro. They just out to get their they month quota. Bro, it's almost in a month. And it's Black History Month, too. So you know they double. And then today, I went down Highway 6. I saw like seven cop cars. I saw somebody get pulled over by a motorcycle cop. I saw And I then one right me. past that was another car being pulled over by a cop. 
So they just out. Bro, I saw one behind me the other day. Especially, you know, they they doing that Warren shit too this week, I think. So they um they checking everybody black. So if you black in Houston, be on your P's and Q's, bro. Oh, dude, don't pull me over the boy week for that. You you gonna fight it or you just gonna pay it? Uh, you know, you do defici- defensive driving. Nah, fuck with that. I'm fighting it. I don't have the time or the energy. You still end up paying the court fees, so True. you're not winning nothing. You winning at it's like a personal win against the police. No, nah, just go ahead, get that defensive driving, get my insurance uh lowered, thug it out, thug it out. So um. I thought of a game we can start playing on okay. the podcast. It's called Describe in One Sentence. Okay. So, we're going to start this one with Describe the Assassin's Creed franchise in one sentence. Good in the beginning, long and pointless now. <laughs> that, has, that has nothing to do with the gameplay whatsoever. <laughs> that is. That's exactly everything. It was just, good in the beginning. You just made an extremely vague. The critique. first three were amazing. And then other than the, the last one that just came out, which is really dope, the other, the other few were just pointless. I'm like, fuck Black Flag. I'm going to be in a fucking pirate. What the fuck? You just, you just made an extremely vague critique. <laughs> you helped. said one sentence and that, 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 that helped nothing. That, that, you can at least actually describe what you do in the game. Oh, okay. All right. So, well, you that's already, not a sentence then. If I said, a, and you describe it in one sentence. Describe the game in one sentence. That Good could, in the beginning that and be, long and pointless now. That could be. You said describe the series in the beginning. You said yeah, describe so a series. I describe a series. It could be. It was good in the beginning. You could have. Okay, I'll do it right now. Okay. Centuries long government conspiracy followed up by boring repetitive gameplay. Good in the beginning, <laughs> long and pointless now. See, I described the plot and I described the game. I don't have to it's describe specific the plot. to the game. Specific you, to the game. Gave, you know, I've long. never played the first two. Why? I still haven't played the first two. It's, I feel like it's too far back now. They got so many different features and shit and shit now. There's no point in going back and trying well, to play Well, I played them. the first and the third. I didn't play Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2 was what? No, Brotherhood. Actually, Which one was Brotherhood? Brotherhood was... It's like one of those ones or two. It's like a bunch no, of Assassin's Creed. A Brotherhood games. was the third one. Because okay. it was Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, officially Assassin's the Creed third Brotherhood one. Brotherhood was the third one because you play Ezio. Yeah, okay. But it was like the second part of Ezio. He was already an assassin, and then you, he had to build up the his rank. Uh, not oh. his rank, but he had to like build rebuild. Up the Italian. Oh no, yeah, Ezio, is he, it Italian he had, or is it Rome? He was Italian. Rome okay. is in Italy, but he had to like build up their ranks because they like at the beginning of the game you get they attack like his castle. Oh, uh, that's where Brotherhood comes from. Yeah, because it's like he, he, you were recruiting people, like you recruit Leonardo da Vinci and stuff. <laughs> I let them games. I'm playing the 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 Assassin's Creed Origins one. I need to uh get that. It's good, bro. It's real good. Um, okay, give me another one. Now we're only doing one at a time. Oh, fuck, one each episode. Yeah, guys, if you want to hear the next game. Can I listen to the next podcast? Yes. Be sure to follow us on everything podcast. And our Twitters. Mine's is the kid Henny. And Waltz is some long ass shit that I don't want to pronounce. It is Go Go Gadget <laughs> 4. Like the Lupe song, Go Go Gadget. I decided because you really like Go Go Gadget. All one word. You think I should do a Go Go Gadget movie? You mean Inspector Gadget? Inspector Gadget, yeah. <laughs> it's trash. I'm bugging. That's how you know he's such an obscure character. Nah, he was obscure. It's just, he's obscure. He's just I don't even know who the fuck he is now. Just old and outdated. That's what I'm saying. They made a li- they made a live action movie and ruined it for him. Yeah, they made two live action movies. The first one had. Uh, they might have I only. 
You know what's funny? That's another movie my dad took us to see in theaters. My dad took us to see a lot of really bad movies in theaters in the 90s. Oh my he God. took us to see Rugrats. He took me to see Hunt, The Hunchback of Notre Dame in theaters. <laughs> he took me to see Anastasia. He took us to in see. In theaters? Yeah, he took us to see Lion King 2. In theaters? He took us what to the see fuck? the Rugrats movie. In theaters? We saw, I, th- I want to say we saw Men in Black 2 in theaters, but I know okay, for I sure we saw Men in Black in theaters. I, don't, I, can't even, I can't even fathom these days going to see like, like, like a Disney movie Like when I think about Niggas going to go see Like the Hunchback Of Notre Dame Like that was a blockbuster hit In his time <laughs> Shit like that Won't fly these days Yeah he took me to see Hunch- Like I would not watch That movie Anastasia, today No And he took me to see that He paid money For both of us To be able to go see that Anastasia That's that's such a weird thing though Anastasia Like Most niggas don't even know What Anastasia is bro Mm-mm. Most niggas don't know any. Rasputin didn't have no eyes up in his head. Bro, <laughs> that fucking weird Russian art. Still. Niggas don't know who what the fuck Anastasia. I remember that shit though. I know that weird want that weird. Uh, I don't know if it was like a wombat or a f- flying. It was a flying bat, flying squirrel or something. No, nah, it was a flying bat. It was a bat. I think it was. I don't know. It was weird and dumb. <laughs> Lion King 2 You went to go see Lion King 2 he, I'm the pretty 80s, sure He bro. paid money for us To go see that Bro I had to sneak us. into That shit these days Like I'm finna pay To go see The second The sequel to Lion The terrible sequel To Lion King Hey My dad was a real ass nigga He was bro Straight In the early us. 90s Your pops was Was hitting on it For real for real The boy took a, he, he paid money for us To that go shit see probably that. Liked this shit too I would not even Pay money for the internet To bootleg those movies Right now <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Fucking Rugrats movies. Who's who out there is still like? I probably some people. There's probably some people out there that still like, like really like, like OD over like Hunchback. Like that's their fucking movie forever. Like they saw that movie and was just like, oh, this is gonna be my movie. Movies were early Disney movies were not that great when you go back and watch them. Mm. I went back and watched Hercules and just had the same effect. Even though it's still pretty good. I mean, because you you know how historically inaccurate it is. That's yeah. why. That's why the, the Hercules movie with the with the Rock fucked me up. <laughs> nah, that movie it was, it was not me good. so mad. That movie was, it was not like, good. oh, they're centaurs, they're men with horse bodies. It's just some niggas standing up on their horses. Really? <laughs> nah, that movie was not good. Is the better of the two Hercules movies that came out that year though? I still haven't seen the other one. <laughs> I don't I want to see to the other one. I was supposed to figure out how I could see it, and I just never did. I if, had no interest. If I'm gonna watch a movie about Hercules, I want to see like all the the mythical. I want to see him do the, the twelve. Fantasies. I want to see him do the twelve tables. I want to see him kill kill a giant lion yes. and have it bite off his finger. I want his. Yes. I want to see him fight the serpent for yeah. three hours, and then that whole got fourteen heads, and he like, what the fuck I'm supposed to do? Yeah, like that shit. Crush it with I don't a giant see, rock. I want you to. I want you scientifically to to, to, to break up just, my head. Just, make just them, destroy my shit. Just, I don't want to see him be a liar. Oh, oh, uh, the queen of whatever the fuck she poisoned it. It wasn't really poison. It's just snake venom. You know? like, bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck am I watching? I don't know. I just, I can't remember that movie. I just remember the, the only part I remember. I think he I did remember, get poisoned. I, did, yeah. I think he died from poison, but he got to go live with the guys. Hercules. Yeah, I think he died. I think he was killed by poison. He got to go live with the guys. Hey, so I, I had this. This funny idea of like a like a cartoon or anime that has yeah. a Legend of Zelda like Link style silent protagonist. So Legend of Zelda technically Link has conversations with people, but it's can only, he speak? That's the thing. He doesn't speak, but somehow he has conversations with people where it'll be like they'll talk to you. Like you go press A, and then they'll be like. Oh, oh yeah! I'm just cutting the grass. <laughs> no, oh, that made bring... me so. Like... You, or, like it'll be like you press A, they'll be like, "Hey," and then you could be like, "What are you doing?" Uh, I brought this. Never mind. And you'd be like, "What are you doing?" It's like, "Oh, I'm just cutting the grass for mom." So he hey. speaks, but they don't. So they don't speak. No, so he doesn't speak, but they speak. Yeah. Basically, you're talking about like a Mass Effect conversation tree. No, it's not Mass Effect. Here's the thing. He's in like a party with other characters and everybody else talks normally. He just doesn't talk. 
And see, <laughs> but here's the thing: he always gets stuff done, and they're always confused why. They're always confused as how he communicates with people. But, it but just then, happens. like, like he'll run. He'll they'll be like, "Oh man, I wish we had some food." And he'll be like, "He'll just not." And then he'll get up and wanna like go up to a person, and then they'll be like. What's he doing? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the person hands him food, and they're like, "What, what just happened?" <laughs> and he comes back, and they just, just all gets, eat. It just gets to. It's like it's like his conversations with people is like a game menu conversation where it's like you got to read the text and then select the response. Yeah, but they don't. They're not able to tell that it's basically like you're they're inside the video game. <laughs> so everything he does is like what you would do when so you're basically playing. like breaking the fourth wall. I don't know. I guess when you know. think about it, like because like like, the fourth they don't see him talking, they just automatically know. Well, not yeah, you're right. They just automatically know. that's a meta ass shit. But <laughs> but see, <laughs> but see, they can't communicate like everybody else in the world that are like NPCs. Yeah. They can come. They can communicate with him in like a normal conversation because it's basically like he comes says what's up and then they respond to like his menu response, the yeah. communication menu response. But the other two people in his party can't do that so when they talk to him they he just like makes faces and stuff <laughs> <laughs> he just gives them no 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 verbal, no indication yeah just. no verbal response he just gives them physical responses but then he'll be but then he'll like have a full conversation with somebody <laughs> <laughs> oh okay i get it i get it so like multiplayer like okay so like people in your party with you they can't conversate with you. They can't yeah, communicate. Yeah, they can't. They can't but communicate through the in-game talking menu. But he can communicate, communicate with, with everybody, everybody else. else in the world. <laughs> he just asked, oh, okay. So they ask him a question. He just turns his head like a dog. <laughs> just what the fuck is wrong? with Or he puts him? his what? hand on his hip and holds his other hand out like he's telling them something. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> or they'd be like. Why wow, he just walked up to somebody and they just told him their whole life story? Like, who does that? <laughs> that that link is he's a poet with his words. Excuse me, what did he say? <laughs> it's just if you weren't there, it's just I can't I can't captivate the emotions that he displayed. Or, or like they do something where uh, one of them is like <laughs> basically Pootie Tang. No, or be like. At least Pooja Tang, he, he talked, but no, it just wasn't regular words, but yeah. people just understood him normally. At least he actually talked. This would be like, hey, why don't you, or like, he gets hurt or something where he's unconscious, and they're like, oh, why don't you, um, why don't you talk to the guy at the end to give us the medicine? And they go, and he's like, what do you, and he like just ignores them. He's like, what do you want? And they're like, oh, we need some medicine. Medicine for what? <laughs> like like he gives, he's giving them a hard time. <laughs> oh, that'd be a, that'd be hilarious. But like, but like, like everybody, like everybody understands Link. But then when they try to go talk to everybody else, they don't understand. Like the NPCs don't understand the people. No, the they party. understand them, but they're like hostile. Like normally in Legend of Zelda, you could just talk to people and they'll just tell tell you about themselves. Yeah. Or they just like describe exactly what's going on. Like you go to like Goron Mountain and it's being held, you know, the dragon is holding them hostage. Everybody will tell you about the dragon like from the jump, like everything you know. You just yeah. have to talk to people to piece the story together. But if they go, they're like, "Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We don't need you here. Go away." And then, and then Link goes, or they'll be like, "Oh, oh. oh. like they'll be like, hey, what's going on with that giant dragon?" It's like. Who are you? Mind your business. But Lingo's <laughs> like, oh yeah, that dragon's Dodonga. He's been protecting this mountain for hundreds of years. But right now, something's going on where he's been attacking us. We don't know what's happening. Maybe you should talk to the leader. And then they'll be like, didn't I just ask you that? <laughs> you couldn't have told me that. What? Who are you? Go away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I think that would be funny, and then like at the at the like instead of it being like a long series, make it like Cowboy Bebop, where it's just like twenty some episodes, and then at the end, at the end, uh, they realize that he speaks through like in game text boxes only, <laughs> but they can't see him and shit. Yeah, so like the but see the whole time while you're watching it, you also don't understand what's going on <laughs> until like the last, last two six. episodes. <laughs> 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 oh, so you wouldn't be able to see what's happening? And yeah, while you're watching, like it's a series, so while you're watching it, he just goes up to people and it looks like they he's just having explain a conversation. everything. Yeah, just, just explain, just spill the beans. Oh yeah, me and my wife are having trouble. I wish I could bring your flowers, and and, and then Link's like, "Oh, I'll get them." He's like, "Oh, really?" But then 
they walk up to him and was like, Hey, I heard your wife's having trouble. Uh, we got those flowers. Like, who the hell are you? What? Why are you talking about my wife? <laughs> Dog, it'd be funny if, like, at the last second, it's just like they just never notice, like, all the end game, like, on the bottom of the screen, like, on somewhere on the side, like, all the options coming up. And they finally just look down for whatever reason. They finally look down and they see, oh. It's like, what is that? Is that a text box? <laughs> And it just sees Link, and they just puts to him. Oh, I, I don't wonder what the fuck that was. I, I thought it was an ad good. following us the whole time. I think that'd be a good idea if it's executed well. That'd be pretty funny. Hey, so let me tell you something that's really weird that I noticed. How come hood niggas don't bother smiling in pictures? Because they never smile, smile about Cause the streets, Because this, this is the funniest thing. So, I know this girl from college. She graduated with us. She's been with her boyfriend since then. Like, they were already together maybe since, like, 2010. They've been together till now. So, randomly on Facebook, they I guess they took, like, a mall picture. And oh, it was no. like they, they were both wearing black glamour <laughs> picture and stuff. She cheesing hard. He's not even smiling. He just got like his mouth agape showing his teeth. But it's just like it's just like, <laughs> like he just has his, his lips open to show his it's not even an actual smile. And she's cheesing so hard. Like, bro, why are you ruining this picture, my guy? Why you? That's just to say he just has his mouth open. Yeah, but he's just, not smiling. Just, <laughs> bro, people smile like that, bro. That's a smile. Yes, bro. I had I had one of my friends used to smile like that. It used to piss me off so much. It used to make me so bad. But I was just like, maybe that's just how she smiles. No, man, that's not. She, maybe her face. I thought I used to think something wrong with her face. I used to think, like a smile, your lips curl up. I, like I used to think. Probably I used. To, I said she was like maybe the tendons in her mouth got snipped as a kid, so yeah, she can't. Hell she up. can't. She can't pull it all the way open. She can just stop like right there. No. Uh huh. It's not a smile. It's more like an agony. <laughs> it was so weird. It's like, why are you ruining this this girl hood pictures? Don't got to smile. Ain't nothing to smile about in the hood. She over here trying to get professional pictures done, and you just gonna ruin it. Which well, is. how professional are the pictures of the at the mall? Let's I don't honest. remember. Let's be honest. Man. I mean, you, you taking mall pictures? You these notes are like three weeks old. So <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, you pay like twenty dollars for them. You ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like. I don't want to get. I don't want to. I don't want to get pictures done. My girl wants to get pictures done. Yeah. I don't want to get pictures done. She wants to do all the dress up and it's like I love you, babe. I do whatever you ask me to do, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to dress and match your clothes, and I don't want to take small she, pictures. She want them hood niggas pictures. She want them hood niggas <laughs> pictures, bro. She want those sharp style pictures, bro. I don't want to do that. I'd be like, man, we can do. Man, take your asses to shop. We can time, do my anything guy. else. We can. I was like, fuck it. We'll just give Garen some money, and Garen can come take pictures of us. Even though I don't want to take pictures at all, yeah, I don't like go, taking. Go pictures. get y'all y'all sharp style pictures. <laughs> we gonna get the airbrush t shirts. We we gonna wear the airbrush t shirts and the and the plaid shorts. Yeah, I know. Go get y'all some oh, plaid shorts. Man, that look like a balding thirty something year old, bro. Go get y'all some plaid shorts. Get that oh, girl what she man. need. That's too funny. It's funny. Oh man. Hey, so um What is the most actual hardcore thing you think a rapper has done? Get shot nine times. That's not hardcore. That is hardcore. The hardcore part is surviving, even though yeah. he got shot like six times in the leg. And he doesn't walk with a limp? I guess not. He got shot like most, face. most of the shots on him. I think like more than half of the shots Ooh. on him were in fatal areas, you and know, then handgun rounds like three out of five people survived them hoes. The hardest thing any rapper has ever. Done. I mean, not knocking it, but it's not that it, him getting shot was not the hardcore part. Yeah, surviving was the hardcore part. Yeah. The movie made it look way more theatrical than it was. Well, the movie he was <laughs> coming from a robbery, and. That was his homeboy that shot him as he was like chasing him around the car. That's not what really happened. No, I what really so. happened is he was on the way to the airport to go do a video with Destiny's Child because he had a song with Destiny's Child and he was on his. He has a song with Destiny's Child. What? The fuck? Yeah, he was on the way. It was on his documentary. He was on the way to do a video, 
and he was at his he was at his grandparents house and he was leaving he was in the car getting ready to leave and somebody walked up and shot him just imagine what the world would be like if 50 cent didn't survive getting shot that many times mm-hmm. cause he got hit like I get hit but he ain't fucking breathing I mean man, he, man. wish death upon me we wouldn't my, we wouldn't have game with like a red mohawk playing in drew league um <laughs> that nigga sleep, sleep like sleep hard as fuck. <laughs> like like a Jamaican dad with thirty kids and three jobs, bro. Some motherfucking Tim and Dog over here just snoring behind. <laughs> that was a long. <laughs> it was a long. This nigga <laughs> sleep hard as fuck. Nigga sleep like he gotta get up for work at six in the morning, <laughs> and he work at like a construction he site. He sleep or some like shit. my fucking dad. <laughs> Fucking sleep just apnea. Just knock the fuck out, bro. Sleep apnea, snoring shit. Oh, man. Uh, I think the most hardcore thing I can think of was uh, Ice Cube going into the dude office and then just like busting nah. it up with a bat. The hardest thing was Tupac shooting those police officers. You know, you're right. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, that's I thought. I forgot about that shit too. The boy clapped at police officers and then got the fuck off, nigga. What? Yeah, because they were drunk and harassing somebody for yeah. no reason. And got off. That's the hardest shit any niggas ever done. Like but you, but think about that. He had to get off. They probably weren't even convicted of anything. It was just like, oh, it's your fault. <laughs> just, oh my god, Tupac shot some police officers. Yeah, that's the hard. That's the most that's hardcore hardest, thing. That has to be the hardest thing. Because it's like he wasn't else. he wasn't harming anybody. He wasn't trying to shoot up Young Dolph's bus or some shit. A hundred a hundred shots and then not kill the nigga. Yeah, I think the car was made out of that fucking. It's either it's either brain, that yeah. or Gucci surviving an assassination attempt. It's one of those two. Gucci surviving an assassination attempt and then killing one of the people that tried to kill him. I'm not sure what's harder. I want to say Tupac because you nah. You, I'm well, going to say yeah, Tupac, Tupac cause cause because you he, can't you you can't you can't get you don't get to get away with shooting at the police. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, definitely not. If he did that in 2017, they'd have had a manhunt for him and Bro, then burned down the cabin he was they in. They would have shot like three niggas. They would have shot three niggas thinking it was Tupac. Andrew like beat the fuck out of like 50 other ones. They would have shot his stunt double. <laughs> Bro, they would have shot his stunt double from uh above the rim. That nigga that looked like him that played in the movie. They would have shot that nigga. <laughs> they would years later they would have shot that. They would have shot his stunt doubles. From the terrible movies he made, <laughs> they would have shot all four of those dudes. Everybody that ever had any contact with him would have been questioned. They would have they would have snatched uh, Jada Pinkett Smith about the street somewhere, asking where Tupac was and shit. she has been like, "Just pop it, he'll wake up." Sleeping hard as well, bro. He sleeps hard as shit. <laughs> Nigga terrorizes us all day and it sleeps like a baby. The boy sleep hard. Or it could be Black Rob stabbing. Oh no no no! Well, no, nah, I don't think that's as hard as as. as uh... <laughs> what are you talking about Black? You talking about Black who stabbed Fifty Cent or stabbed one of Fifty Cent people? Like they got into a they got into a fight. Nah, that wasn't hard because he they were just having a big fight and then in a, he in a asked... random room. No, it was at the studio. studio yeah, in the room when the lights get that off. That wasn't hard. I mean, he was just stabbing at people in the dark. That wasn't hard. That was just whack. Uh, what's another hard ass? I give him no respect for that. Um, it's not like he's listening to this podcast anyway. He might be. You know, he ain't got nothing, he ain't got nothing going on right now. Well, it doesn't matter. Because uh, Murder Inc. is no longer. They right trying right to bring now. Murder Inc. back? No, I do not care. I well, they called it the Inc. The after ink, Fifty yeah. Cent ruined Ja Rule's career. <laughs> ja, ja Rule See, tried the, to, oh, is he the only person that ruined somebody's career in rap? Probably not. But he's That's the only one most I can think of. prevalent. Yeah. And then Ja Rule was talking, was, well, he's trying well, he to call him Tickle Booty. <laughs> <laughs> that did not hold up at all. It's like, um. He exposed Ja Rule for not being a great rapper. It's like, Ja Rule, you know he's on, like, a very popular show right now, right? Bro. Like, you know he's having a full fledged acting he career. Did. Like, Ja Rule, what have you done? He, in recent times, he, the only the best thing Ja Rule has did was wore a pair of slacks that are also sweatpants. The best thing that Ja Rule has did was take a bunch of white people's money from him. Oh yeah, I forgot about the the Firefly. <laughs> well, yeah, well he's he's, he's yeah, but that wasn't coke on some. 
that wasn't private yacht. That wasn't cool publicity. That's that that's, the, that's not being on power. I like, mean, it's not being on power. Didn't but make, shit, it's still amazing. He probably didn't make the millions that Fifty Cent made. Look, also, Fifty Cent had like seven million in bitcoins. Bro, they let the niggas <laughs> that he didn't know. He right, didn't I have. remember that shit. Niggas is like a whole millionaire, and <laughs> this nigga just has these hoes <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, we're accepting big on an album that didn't even do that great. <laughs> he boys. just has multiple The boys is forward thinking It's like hey Y'all could pay for my album With bitcoins It's probably only worth Like four dollars now I gotta go back And listen to All the albums of 50 cents That I didn't hear You know I still Nah never, I'm good on that You know I still never heard Until I self destruct The one that came out When Kanye dropped uh, Graduation Yeah I'm not, I never heard it. I, have I no, bought both of them I never heard the other one I have no purpose To listen to Before I self destruct I mean Graduation came out It was Automatically it was rap, superior bro, I bought both of them though. That's the crazy thing about it Back when I had my My bed In the middle of my room For whatever fucking yep, reason I definitely bought Graduation Because my Vehicle at that time Did not play Mix CDs Burn CDs It only played Actual studio albums Really? Mm-hmm. Wow that was when I That was when we bought My cousin's Honda Oh offer, yeah I remember And that she shit. had the stock radio The stock uh, radio So it only played uh, Official CDs It didn't play burn CDs Bro you can tell we, we are old as shit bro Like Hey man We don't been to To set tapes and in, in cars CD players in cars Now these hoes don't even have Come with ox Like little ox cores No more These motherfuckers no, Is Bluetooth, just Bluetooth on Bro I demanded that on my car. I was <laughs> like, said, fuck, "Fuck cords, nigga." Nah, my my cord was shortened and stuff. I had to buy a new one every other month. You had to buy a new one or some shit. I got the little Bluetooth receiver. Put my shit in that hole. That's my shit. Yeah, cause you the ops. I'm with it. I'm fine with that. My shit fast as fuck though. All right, let's move into the thing I came here for. The okay. question I came up with okay. while people were at work. So, Michael B. Jordan, dude, got famous. He came up. He started on. Started on the wire. I actually, started acting. He was like twelve. But I don't remember. Well, he got his his his, his big break was on the wire. Though. Yeah, yeah, that was. His, I mean, he it wasn't his big break at the time, but looking back, that was like the start of his career. Nah, that was his big break. Started his career And then he came up All the way to today Did Creed Which is an amazing movie And Black Panther Nigga got swollen shit So basically he's like Killmonger is is the second best character Behind Shuri So basically he's like The most handsome Dude Under 32 Right now Yeah I'm not counting Drake Cause he's light skin Yeah Light skin genocide Kill all them light skin ass niggas (laughs) All these light skinned niggas back and stuff. Fuck that shit. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, dang. And then, so there's Michael, style. right? And then there's Lupita. Lupita came up big. I don't know. She was she was born in Mexico. I thought she was African. She is. Um. So her dad, it was a, like a. A doctor, um, and they were in Mexico at the time. At the time so I she's, think I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Me. I, I looked it up I'm not sure if it was on a mission But they were just in Mexico at the time I saw the show And so she and was, was like, born in Mexico And then they went back to Kenya Like maybe a couple months later So she can speak what? Swahili? She can speak Swahili Spanish. She can speak Spanish She can speak Korean? Speak, uh, I think that was just for the movie uh, That might have been for the movie yeah. Let's see I uh, was born in Mexico City, Mexico To Kenya parents Dorothy uh, Dorothy Ogata Buyu, and speak? Peter Anyang Yongo, a college. Oh, okay. Her dad was a college professor. That's why. Oh. And then they left because of political unrest. Which, yeah, Mexico, I, I can believe that. And she has dual citizenship. That's cool. I think I have dual citizenship too. And yeah, Lupita came up. I watched 12 Years a Slave the other, I still the other week. It's so tough to watch. Is it tough like, oh, it's bad? Or is it tough like, it's some sad shit? Well, it's slavery. It is or, you know, graphic slavery. slavery. So it's, it's tough. I mean, she, she they they definitely did their thing on that movie. The movie's good. It's I, I'm never going to watch it again. <laughs> it's, this man watching all the movies I said I was going to watch. I still haven't watched Fences. It's on Hulu. I just don't want to watch it. Yeah. 
Well, it's also on, I think I think it was on Hulu. I remember seeing it on Hulu. First. Yeah, it's on Hulu. Or oh, Twelve Years a Slave or uh, Fences. Fences. Yeah, I, I saw Fences on Hulu. I was I was looking at the shit earlier. Yeah, but I 12, might watch it. Twelve Years a Slave. It's a good story. It's it's just tough to watch, and I get real. I get very. Um, it's graphic because it's kind of it's really like a one of the more realistic portrayals, like how how like vicious and vile it was. Yeah, but I mean. She, All I know is what she, it's about. Uh, the, she she made me believe her role. Okay, like once she played like a she played like a house slave. Or? No, she was a field slave. Um, so the the main guy I already forgot his name, but um, he was actually like an, an aristocrat in like Washington. Oh yeah, and he, he went was to the South. he was a violin player, and he met like this guy who was his friend. In the area So what What happened at the time Is that his wife And his children Went away To something I guess they were like Visiting somebody And he Was like a Violinist And uh, A person in his town Was like Hey I know these These artist guys And they want to meet you And so He meets up with them Hangs out They have drinks And all of a sudden He wakes up in chains And they had Basically Uh they basically sold him like but like they is like a kidnapping so they sold they got money for getting him kidnapped and brought to slavers and then they just get auctioned off so instead of like actually instead of like bringing people over from Africa or something it's like they were they were kidnapping people and selling them to slavers you got so me. he got he, this dude a whole aristocrat Tenant got a tent, got got up. preteen children, and then got sold into slavery. And so he was on the first. So like, um, I'm running away. One of the guys that he that he was initially with had uh, already been through it before and escaped and got caught. I guess he got caught again. Or he got kidnapped again, and so he was like, "Man, just." The less you say and the less you do to remind, to like let them know who you actually are, the better off you'll be. Basically, you just got to gotta like bury your identity down to survive and just be whatever they want you to be. Wait, how did you get caught twice? He was a slave before, I guess he ran away. Oh. Or escaped and then he ended up. I don't know, Bro. getting caught up. I mean, uh, they they snatched the whole aristocrat dude who was known by people in his community. So they didn't give a fuck. They was just snatching black Bro, people. You got me fucked up. Bro, that, if I just, get out of this shit, I'm going back to my neighborhood and I'm killing everybody. Just that part made made me not want to watch the movie. I was like, what the fuck? Like this dude was just You're supposed to be you supposed to be cool. Like your he, homeboy like I'm telling oh, you, bro. this was a grown man that they did this to. Like grown. This dude had, had to at least been like 30 years old When this happened I, I, mean, I don't know Is it like Historically accurate Or Yeah it's based off I guess it's based off The guy's Memoirs So Cause, Cause he was like a, um, Like when he got back He was like A full on activist So He sold into slavery uh, The guy Who bought him Kinda uh, He had The guy who bought him Kinda had like Mercy Like he wasn't like uh, uh, he wasn't like a cracker. Nah, if you own slaves, you're a cracker. No, he no. Well, a cracker was like a slave master who really like used his oh, whip okay. on people to cracking up the whip. Oh, okay. So he wasn't that kind of slave owner. But the guys on his farm were like those dickheads who thought they were above and like the police and like the um the, I guess the head guy or the, the I guess the guy who did most of like the day to day stuff. Like he didn't like them, and so like um they were doing one job, and the slave dude was like, "Hey, um I think it was in Louisiana." He was like, "Hey, if we use the water instead of trying to," they were like cutting down trees. He's like, "Hey, we use the water and just ferry the logs instead of carrying them, save us time and energy." And the dude was like, "Who are you? Who do you think you are, an engineer?" And then he was like, "Well, I did a job like this before, and we saved time and money." And so the the actual owner was like. Let's see how it goes. And he did it. It was like, okay, we straight. Yeah. But then um the little head the little uh head, head head slave master guy uh was like dissing him or something when he was trying to like build a house 
or something, and um, they got into it. That nigga whooped his ass like like the slave master was trying to get on him, and they were fighting over the whip. And the dude gets the whip from him and starts beating him with it. And this nigga was crying and screaming. So he's like, I'm going to kill you. And then, um, so he got, he runs away and he got, uh, the, uh, the guy who kind of, uh, I guess the guy who was really over the slaves, but he just wasn't seeing the day to day. He was like, Hey, you stay on this land or else I can't protect you. And the, the motherfucker came back with like three people. They beat him up and like tried to hang him from a tree. And the, the real headmaster showed up with his pistol. It's like, Hey, y'all leave him alone. You get the fuck out of here. But then they all just left him there. So he's still hanging, but he's like barely touching the ground with his toes. And so, uh, they, he, you know, that pissed off the white people. And so his, his master had to like sell, he had to transfer his debt of him to somebody else. And then on that farm was where, uh, Lupita comes in. Cause she, that was like, that was a cotton farm and like they pick cotton every day and they would weigh it and like announce how much they pick. So Lupita would pick like 500 pounds of cotton a day. And most, most people could pick like maybe 190 on average. So she's picking three times, basically three times as much as everybody else. But like the owner of that, the owner of that farm was like, like he would, he would wake them up in the middle of the night to make them like play music and dance. And then he was like, he kept trying to like, it was weird. He kept trying to like, um, favoring Lupita, even though she didn't want it from him at all. And then like his wife was like jealous of how much favor he would show her. And so she, like, it was weird. Like the time they made him wake up in the middle of the night, like the wife like slashes her face. It's just like, I see how you look at it. She goes and slashes her face. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it was, cause she was just so jealous that she, she like wanted him to like, like, like torture them and shit it was fucking weird and then he kept trying to like have sex with her and shit and she never would want it so he kept forcing himself upon her and then like he would let her he would let her go to a different uh plantation because like somehow a black lady got married to the owner yeah so she was no longer like giving slave treatment she's basically like the other master of the house yeah and stuff it was weird it was weird and then like at one point she was gone and then she came back and he like he would always be drunk when she's gone and he was like where'd you go you always she was like yes and she was like i went to go get soap because i'm tired of smelling myself and i stink like it, i she was like i pick more cotton every day than everybody else at least give me this and then he decides to whip her and then the like he was gonna have uh and then like this fucking wife came by was egging that shit on and then he tried to make the the dude slave do it and he didn't want to do it because she had asked she was like man i'm tired of living like this just please just kill me i want you to kill me he's like why would you ask me that she's like ain't no other decent people around here i want you to kill me he's like he wouldn't do it and then like another time he came back from like being loaned out to someone else he showed back up she like her eye was bloodied and stuff it's 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 tough to watch it's tough it's not like fences was annoying to watch because he just would this is like hard hitting and hard hit me in my chest it sounds hard it's you can't tough. even talk about slavery but i mean I she was talking about slavery man she she she, she acted ass off. she immersed that role i was like damn like Please let her get away. <laughs> like, and, you and can't just tell up. me they got kidnapped the whole grown ass man. They was kidnapping adult him, people and, and just sent them to slavery. And then like at the end, so like uh and Brad we, and little white people wonder why we don't want to fuck with them that much. So at the end, Brad Pitt was like I guess like this uh carpenter from Canada and he would just work. He was just working on the farm and like he the dude told him about like how he was kidnapped and stuff. And then he delivered like a letter to his town so he could be, you know, rescued. And Brad Pitt's like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it. And so at the end, a dude from his town came to get him with like, I guess, the police or something, or whoever, to get him. And then uh, the slave master was like, "No, nah, I paid my money for him, I, whatever." And uh, 
he saw Lupita and he just like gives her like this loving hug like I'm gone and it's like I was like fuck please please get her please <laughs> please get her just didn't get her so she was stuck and he went back home and then he's like he gets home and like his children are grown and stuff he's like I like he was actually in slavery for 12 years he was like I apologize for my appearance and they're like why are you apologizing and you have to apologize like just tears and stuff and then uh, he became like an activist and was on the Underground Railroad and was speaking against the kidnappings. He tried to press charges on the people who kidnapped him oh, yeah, that's and stuff, but he, uh, black people couldn't testify against white people in Washington. So, like, basically nothing happened to him. Yeah, I figured that. And I then, just had to, you just had to kill him. And then he mysteriously dies. Mysteriously, my ass. Mysteriously, my ass. And every time, if, anytime you hear about black people mysteriously dying, oh, we found such and such with a gunshot to the it was face like the circumstances of his death or I know whatever but um really killed that nigga. yeah this really got away That's from why you me killed him before he killed you yeah uh, this conversation really got away from me uh so Michael B <laughs> Jordan back to what we were rarely talking about like 20 minutes soul, ago soul torturing conversation about 12 years of slave. back to the original topic <laughs> Michael B Jordan let's get back on up. track with happiness Lupita Nyong'o came up yeah I was like you know what? If Michael B willed it, you could take my girl from me. I wouldn't even fight it. But like, no, nah. yeah, that's a, that's nah. that, that's a, that's a really handsome nah. man. That's a really handsome man. Nah. I'm I'm not even gonna beef with you, dog. I mean, it's up to her. He's so because he has money, he's been on movies. The handsome guy. The guy got swole for Creed. But me, you can get swole for Creed. Yeah, but we haven't. <laughs> because Ryan Cooligan won't answer our emails about this Jane Silent Bob remake where we're just black people. Well, neither of us are swole, so that's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, dang, so and if Lupita like okay, remember the Rihanna thing meme that was going on where like if Rihanna calls your dude on stage on stage like he better go, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Or like Oh, uh, when Rihanna called your name, so I was like, "So girls would let Rihanna take their man." So that that posed the question: five male celebrities that could take <laughs> your girl, and five lady celebrities that are allowed to take you. Okay. And your girl can't protest, and you can't protest a male celebrity. Well, so you have to basically be either all right or powerless. It's, I mean, that's not the that's not the only two reasons. Like, if it was like fucking Oprah, it's like Oprah could take anybody. Yeah. Like Oprah could Oprah Oprah could, Oprah could buy us right now, and our I mean, girls would probably be okay with it. Like Oprah showed up with like twenty million for each of us. I think not brother. even twenty million. She came with one million. I could do. I could literally do all the things I wanted to do. Exactly. I could have. <laughs> I could have an eighty inch TV. I could have. All the outdoor gear I would want to have yeah. to do whatever Fuck, I you want. Fucking some got, acres. I, straight up, I can just yeah, I can buy just, acres and build a house. I can just buy acres in the middle of Texas yeah. and just be like, "Hey, this is my you town." You need now. like three or four acres. Just buy. I would. I could buy a whole country town and be yeah. like, "Hey, this is mine now." Time. Y'all don't yeah. live here. Get the fuck out! <laughs> <laughs> you I gotta could, buy like one of those sundown towns and tell all the white people to get the fuck I out. I could, I could build my buy own. Sundown. I could have my own achievement hunter with six full systems, and I could buy all the shoes it's I just, wanted. It's just you running from different, <laughs> just, 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 just set screaming. up all over, just running and and screaming, just running. To, <laughs> you just come to the next one. Ah! <laughs> Get some code to another laptop. Oh, what do you think about that, Walter? <laughs> oh, I think that's amazing. What do you think about that, Walter? <laughs> in real time. <laughs> the video's like sort of lag because you still running in the frame, sit down. <laughs> and then I get confused. You get tired after a while. You're like, oh, right. that's going to be the end of this episode. All right, so my guy, Tevin, let's let's start with the women. Let's start with the shorties. Okay. <sighs> what Sorry, you got? Alex. The first. It's not sorry. Alex has no has no has no uh she has no authority in this. You know, technically she should because she has no, to she allow should. you to be st- she, <laughs> she's basically these are the five <laughs> these are the five lady celebrities allowed to take you, Tevin. 
Alex, 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 and Alex. <laughs> oh, no, I'm joking. Okay. She's not a celebrity. Uh, <laughs> She's not a celebrity, so that doesn't count. <laughs> She's a celebrity to me. <laughs> Stop wasting my time. <laughs> okay. Um, first one, okay, I don't Alex know how to say <laughs> I don't know how to say her name. Uh, she... She was the big girl on Orange is the New Black. Uh, she played. Um, she played Pusey's best friend. Damn it! I, I, I think I think his name is. It starts with a D. I want to say it's Danielle. <clears throat> yeah. Days. Danielle. Uh, Danielle Preska. She's plays the Latin girl, the big Latin girl on Orange is the New Black. Uh, Danielle Brooks. Danielle Brooks. Uh, the other the other big Latin girl who got pregnant by the security guard. Mm. She fine as fuck. So you didn't actually research this to no. I to can't get the I, names. I'm not gonna know the names. The, the whole point was you for to have the fucking names, guy. It's like uh, Dasha Palanco. Yeah, Dasha Palanco. Why can't you use your technology that you have at your disposal and, and have the actual names? Uh, Instead of fucking describing the one role you were you've actually seen them in, <laughs> useless fuck. That ain't shit. Uh, I gave you like three hours plus <laughs> plus the full week to to have this ready, and you don't even know their fucking names. Um, Jasmine Sullivan. Okay. Um, she thick as fuck. She is thick as fuck. Did you see the video of her twerking? That old ass one? I guess she was at Caribbean. She was Come on, guy. That's not from two years ago. Really? Yeah, keep I up. I still liked it. I don't give keep a fuck. Up. I still like it. Golly. Uh, April Ryan. I don't know who April Ryan is. She played in, she was a big girl in, in Glee. I did not watch Glee. She, did you see that, that, uh, that live action, uh, Wizard of Oz? Oh, no, live action. The Wiz? Oz? Yeah, The Wiz. I didn't watch it. Oh, shit. Oh, that was a hot moment. The the black the the whiz on Broadway. Mm-hmm. That was a hot moment. Uh, who else? Last but not least, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna just go ahead and say Rihanna. 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 So you got four thick women, and then Rihanna. N- anybody, like you said, anybody. Rihanna can take anybody. Except for me, she can't take me. Rihanna she- came here and started just pointed at you and, and did the finger thing. I'm like the fuck, what you want? <laughs> Come here, Walter. Hit you with that Barbados. I think that's no. a Barbados accent. Come here, no. Walter. Rihanna has to. Rihanna has to give me something. She can't just be she like, "Give hey. you that devil pussy." No, that Caribbean woman. I don't want that. If she came, <laughs> if she came in here with like a plate of jerk wings and beef patties, I'm like, "All right, let me get that." This nigga just let starts, me get that. I was like, what the hell is wrong? Be like, with "Oh, you brought that for me." You brought the, oh, I gotta come outside. All right, I'm gonna come outside and get that <laughs> shit. And so I'm gonna take it. Ends up in a relationship with Rihanna for three years. <laughs> I'm a no. I'm a take. So what? What? Would you? What did you? What attracted you to Rihanna? She came with some jerk chicken wings and some beef patties. She she give me a patty a day. That's all she does. Just give you patties whenever you start. Yeah, she give. It's like your. It's like your. It's like every, your, your every tranquilizer. Time, <laughs> yeah. Every time I have doubts, she just like she, she just, just like places. <laughs> she just places one in front of me. <laughs> He's like, I'm like <laughs> You start coming out of it During the interview with her And she's just like Where the fuck am I He just adds you another <laughs> Look, she, she's, yeah. a push, she's a Oh she's like Oh my bad Eat this Walter huh? Oh beef patty <laughs> She don't even hand it to me She just like slowly She just like slowly Puts it into my mouth <laughs> And you just and start chewing this shit oh. And you start <laughs> You just cussed <laughs> Zombify my my eyes just glaze over. What was the question again? Oh, marriage. <laughs> we seem to get married pretty soon. Yeah, I signed a prenup. I'll give her, every, I'll give her everything that I own for nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Are All right, so fine? my five. My five. Prepare yourself. All right. Number one. Uh, we're, we're recording a podcast here. <laughs> Go You're not supposed to be here right now. <laughs> I requested this room for two hours, and it's only been an hour and some change. This is our trap house uh, podcast recording studio. Huh? Uh, what? Eh. 
A child note. See our 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 resident Bronx uh, native just <laughs> comes and interrupts our podcast, just like a Bronx person. Gosh, <laughs> you're she so she's, she's not that Bronx. <laughs> my list, prepare yourself. Early eighties Bronx, prepare yourself. I know this. My list is a uh, slightly older than I realize. <laughs> As an age, yeah. <laughs> like it's, uh, there's nobody younger. Oh, I forgot than, about Oprah. Oprah. I don't think anybody younger than thirty is on this list. Maybe one. He wants so out there being a cougar chaser. Loud fucking dog. Uh, first one, Lupita Youngo. I mean, like, bro, she's just yeah, she's just magnetic. Like, goodness, that's yeah. a that's a fine woman. Yeah, she is very beautiful. And then as long. As long as she doesn't have crispier waves than me. Oh no, she got crispier waves than you. No, she doesn't have waves. She is Bro, she is, is, is grown. As long as her waves aren't crispier than my if she cuts it short, just leave it like a mini fro. Don't like start brushing and do ragging. No, I'm straight. I have no beef with her. Bro, she's she's gonna have crispier waves than As you, long as she doesn't pull out the CQP brush in the do rag and the sporting waves, I'm straight. Bro. I don't care what it, she does, whatever she wants. As long as she does bro. it, as long as she like, man, bro, your ways looking weak, bro. You need to step your game up on, bro. bro like, as long she, as she don't pull that on me, I'm straight. To, bro, she coming to bed with the do rag tied up in the back, bro, and tucked, nigga. No. She's coming to bed like that, uh-huh. bro. No. Yes, bro. You no. know how they say women. That's, that's the only like. As soon as I realize that her waves are nicer than mine, that's, that's when I'm. It. That's when I. Look, I don't think it's gonna work out. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, baby? What, what did I do? It's, you, you, like, look, the look, fucking way you trying me, Lupita. Look, you keep look, trying me. Look, shorty, you see me out here wolfing, okay? You see my hairline receding, <laughs> and you just gonna come over here with the crispy uh, 720 waves on me and shit, <laughs> fucking tapered, tapered by the tapered gods, tapered perfectly. And shit hair, on Hairline completely intact And that shit glossy Look like a galaxy right now no. And then you over here With your With your whole 360 skin glowing Like What am I supposed to do with that She gonna be flexing on you Like Instagram She's gonna be hitting you With the Instagram poses and shit Y'all have regular conversations So you know I'm out here You know what I'm saying and, and have you heard her talk Like regular Bro she has I really, I really haven't Bro she has like The softest voice Oh yeah, she does. She does. Bro, she has like the most bubbly personality, and she gonna stun on me with her waves bro, like she that. Gonna like, stun on you, bro. like, come on, bro. Like, hey, you know, you know, they say couples like they take from from each other and shit. Like, they start to do what other the other one likes. She gonna see your waves shining, and she gonna be like, I wonder if I can get my waves like that too. That's gonna be like the first month of y'all being together, bro. No, the like, fir- no, the first month is she's gonna have like a fro, and I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, get the twist. It's just like get getting lower and lower. Yeah, she gonna. <laughs> And then and then suddenly she's gonna do a big chop. I'm like, okay, that's cool, you know. I get you I get you I, I, I hook you up with some brushes, some you know, you know what I'm saying, some hair lotion and stuff. And then all of a sudden all of a sudden like she nigga. got the dope curl pattern like three days later. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> nigga, it starts to come in slowly but surely no, it gets deeper and deeper. No, it's not even that. It comes in like it's three days <laughs> later. That's the thing. It's Lupita. She it's not gonna come in uh Three months later After like three different wolf sites It's gonna be immediate <laughs> You just gonna be looking at her In bed and shit I'm like who the fuck is this <laughs> She had the do-rag on She turned over The shit hits The little flap Extra long and silky No it's not face. even It's not even gonna be like that It's gonna be like She just wears a wrap I'm like Alright that's I'm like You know what See I'm gonna be supporting I'm like you know what Rock the short hair shorty You know what We're gonna be We're gonna be brushing we're gonna be brush each other's ways for we're gonna be we're gonna be uh <laughs> we're gonna be exfoliating we're gonna be doing uh uh what you call it deep conditions and stuff oil treatments and shit yeah and then three days later it's just that shit gonna be just right on yours. crisp just <laughs> three like it's like wake up and take the wrap yeah, off and you wake up next to her and the yeah shit i just, wake i oh. wake up she's already up she's taking a shower i don't know yeah she's taking a morning shower I'm getting my my turkey egg and cheese croissant ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping my do rag on because I don't have anything to do that day. Yeah. And then she come out the shower. I'm like, hey, I got your croissant ready. She's like, oh, thank you. And then I'm chilling there. You know, I'm having my 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 uh, my mango green tea. You know, because it's a nice day. I'm yeah. having me my mango nice, green tea. Nice Sunday morning. And then morning. she come in the kitchen. Crispy ass ways with a fucking uh with nah, a part nah. and shit. She gonna take, with the, gotta, with the gotta, hook with the hook circle hook part. I'm like, nah, you, you gotta you gotta be you gotta be eating your food. And she goes to take that the no, wrap off, nigga. No, I'm not gonna see. She's in the shower, oh. so she's just gonna come out. She's gonna brush, 
And then she gonna show up. So well, she, she got the towel on her head. She's wiping the shit off. <laughs> <laughs> no, she don't even got the towel on. She just she just come out brushing like oh, the, her waves is clean. Yeah, like because when you fr- like when you when your hair is wet, that's when your waves look the dopest. Yeah, Bef- in between you putting product in, so she already put her product in, hair dried, got her product in, her hair lotion, this nigga her hair from cream. the laptop. And then all, and I, you know, I look up, you know, because I'm probably <laughs> honey, looking out the window, out the at the yard. I turn around, I'm like, you like, honey, your friend Oprah is doing some really good stuff in I'm like, in what Africa. The f- it's just I amazing. Turn around, what, what, what is this? What the fuck? <laughs> she's like, yeah, I was trying to. She's like, oh, you like it? I'm like, this what did you do? Throws a coffee cup. <laughs> I'm like, what did you do? She's like, oh yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to brush my hair like yours. I was trying to get my ways like yours. I'm like. Always don't look like that though. <laughs> Nigga watch is just upset. Baby, what's wrong? Let me let me no, don't touch me. <laughs> like what are you what's no. <laughs> don't touch we me. You can't do this. <laughs> I don't you she's, just, she's like, I was trying to get my waist like yours. I thought we was gonna be like like we was gonna be the wave city bros. <laughs> 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 I thought we was gonna be the wave city bros. Like you call oh, me and shit. That. You call me, bro. She's lost her mind. She's bro, lost a motherfucking bro. bro this, what's wrong, bro? What? what, what why are you bro, she got, bro, how the fuck her ways nicer than mine? What the fuck is? Bro, her ways can't be that much. Bro, nice she crispy as fuck. Bro, bro her ways can't be that crispy. The most silky, like bro. You send me a picture and shit. I'm like, okay, yeah, the nigga, them hoes is crispy as shit. No. What you gonna do, bro? I'm just no. I'm just gonna go dry myself. <laughs> 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 go dry myself in the toilet. <laughs> Why did Walter kill himself? Nah, he, no. he woke up one morning. She said it was a bro, good she Sunday. Had the, she had the seven twenties on, bro. I mean, was, her, her, her shit hitting. crispy as fuck. I don't know why he's sitting there. She hating. over there. Her shit still crispy. Look at yeah. I'd kill myself too, bro. If that was my girl. <laughs> The only way I can survive that encounter is if I just no longer have ways. If I just have like, <laughs> she just grow, yeah, she just grow dreads instantly. <laughs> the Jay Z fro, I got had. Oh no, I got had the not the cop professor fro. The un the untapered Jay Z fro. That's the oh, only way I'm gonna survive. <laughs> All right, that was my first one. That was a very long tangent. <laughs> but yeah, Lupita, she's just a magnetic personality. You get you got crispy look. with the crispy way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> second one, Angela Bassett, just. Okay. Off the strength of what's love got to do with it Angela alone, it bro. Like put that pussy on you, bro. Me. She was so swole in that movie. She always cut, bro. She was like, out like I saw that movie, and maybe like the tenth grade, not for the first time, but like I like it was on TV, and I saw. It, I was like, God damn, like she was fit as. Like bro, she had to. She really been that way for her whole career. Bro, honestly. she was super cut. Yeah, and just off that alone, you was like, "Well, I'm check you on the list forever." Yeah, it's just, that's that's forever. Um, Serena Williams. Okay, yes, yeah, that's. that's I don't one. even have to describe it. It's Serena Williams. It's Serena Williams. You don't even have to say much. All right. Shorty quit walking if she wins Grand Slams. You need that in your life. And let me tell you something. That's that's the perfect woman. Yeah, that's the perfect woman. I mean, you, uh, I mean, uh, can you get over the fact that she she dated Drake? Yeah, okay. I'm, I mean, so I, you get over that fact. I mean, I'm, I'm Drake is gonna have to be killed anyway. <laughs> so at this point, Drake has to be killed. He's got to die. So it's me and Serena. This is me and Serena. Yeah, and that beautiful, perfect body of hers. What about the baby and the husband? This is a world where the baby and the husband don't exist? No. Oh, okay. So he's going to be stepdaddy? After after her husband? Okay. Hey. Huh? Come back. Uh, <laughs> Come I was, back. I was, daydreaming about the, I was daydreaming about the perfect woman. That is Serena Williams. <laughs> that is not just thinking back to reality. <laughs> yeah, but Serena Williams can uh, undisputedly take me for my girl. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Nas. Next one is Viola Davis. Nah. Yes. Nah. Yes. Nah. Viola Davis seem like she'll she'll fucking see. But see the the only reason you're doubting Viola is because she's played a lot of roles where they weigh heavy on your heart, or she has to cry. Yeah. I feel like she like but you can't do shit. Have you seen Viola Davis smile? Yeah, she has a beautiful smile. Yeah, it's like. The first time I listen, it's like the first time I listen to the five stair steps, like stars in my eyes. 
My man was not lying when he said these 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 women are over thirty. Yeah, but I mean, if all like Viola Davis could be like, you just point at me. Don't even say words. She point. Look, look, you like. That's it. Nah, it's, uh, it's been a great. That's it. That's Viola over there. I, I, I love you, and but I'm just gonna have to, you know, I had to make a executive decision. And, and I'm a hundred percent certain that Viola Davis makes a dope sweet potato pie. I'm a hundred percent certain. I have no scientific evidence of this, but I know she makes a great sweet potato pie, mm. and that is my favorite. And so is Viola. I can agree. Yeah, I can agree. Yeah, and then, she makes a dope sweet. Some good catfish. The last two. Well, the last one is kind of like a three way tie. I know I'm cheating, but it's kind of like a three way tie. So, Megan Good. Okay, Megan Good. Okay. Then Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish kind of like the dark horse because that's a fine woman. Yeah, she is fine. She's very. Pretty. She coming up, and she's 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 she got a nice body. And everything. She's crazy enough for me to be. I feel like you got to She's like that New though. Orleans level of crazy without oh, the New no. Orleans accent. Yeah. And then I forgot the third one. The third girl or the third thing she The was. third girl of the three way tie. I had it in my head, but now I can't remember who it was. Um Oh, did you watch the Dear White People Netflix series? Jessica Williams? No, uh um, The Dear White People on Tessa Netflix. Thompson? No. The on other. Netflix, not the movie, but the uh Yeah, on Netflix. The series. Yeah. So the girl who played Coco. That was a fine shorty. I'm surprised you didn't have like that Issa was a, Rae or uh old girl from the her best friend. Yvonne OG? Yeah. Uh I'd take Yvonne OG over Coco. I mean that's you. Huh. But she these are the ones who are allowed to take me from my girl. Fine, Coco. I mean, you know, uh, well, Let me find that girl. OG real fucking fine. Yeah. Issa Rae really beautiful. Yvonne OG. Yeah, really but fine. I mean, I think my girl might put up a fight with them, especially that Yvonne OG is, is Nigerian, so oh, she's yeah, not gonna she let her not. She's not, not gonna let her. <laughs> yeah, she might. She she might actually stab the entire set of Insecure. <laughs> We're not getting a season three if they even if they show up. We're not getting a season three. You, get you sitting on set with Yvonne OG, y'all just chilling this shit all oh, here is water. <laughs> I'm I'm some I'm there for some reason. Uh, like, she's played by Antoinette Robertson. What else has she been in? I don't. I seem like she's been in some other. Um, stuff. let's check her IMDb because mm-hmm. Antoinette Robertson, Robertson, that is a beautiful girl. Um, I don't think she's. Oh, uh, I don't think she's been in much else high profile like that. She's in the show called The Have and the Have Nots that my dad watches all the time. I, that's a really popular show. I think. Uh, she was in Atlanta. She was in Atlanta or what? <clears throat> uh, the fuck, Uh, the episode where they were in the club and uh, Doughboy was talking to that girl. Is that at her? The end. Yeah. <laughs> that's her. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I guess she was in a show called Mary Plus Jane. I don't know what that is. I know what that is. Uh, it doesn't look like she was in anything else high profile, but you know I like I like the dark skinned women, and she that is a. I'm proud of because none of them are, are lighter than a paper bag on your list. That is a, well, a breathtaking lady. Megan Good is the closest. Nah, Angela Bassett. No, Megan Good is. Angela Bassett like like that. Angela Bassett is my yeah. color. Yeah. So that's darker than a paper bag. And Megan Good not that much lighter than her. <laughs> Yeah, but making good is lighter. But making good is just fine. That's just a fine woman. What is she doing these days? I think now she made she like was, a lawyer or somebody. Let's see what making good is better to. I know she, she was doing that. Uh, remember she was doing that. Uh, Minority Report show. Oh yeah, I forgot about that show. Didn't go nowhere. Cause it, it didn't get no. Fox push. cannot. Fox can't make good TV shows. Let's see. They make great cartoons, but their live TV shows be trash. So as far as movies, 
um, last five movies were Think Like a Man 2, A Girl of Grace, Charlie, Trevor, and A Girl Savannah, Never Deuces, and heard. Motivated Seller. The only thing I've heard is the Think Like a Man. I, Charlie Trevor and the, and the girl Savannah. That's the one with the black boy and the white boy and the white girl. I think. And then before that, uh, think like it's so all from oldest to newest. Think like a man. Defeat the label. The Obama effect. Dick Little. Don John and Anchorman Two. Oh, she was an Anchorman Two. They need to bring make good news. Isn't more. Don John the movie where the dude had like a was like a sex addict or something? Mm. I've never heard of that one. The fuck? It's because he's licking himself and he's licking the hair off of him. Now his hair's getting caught in his throat. You're not a cat. This dog is over here making a lot of gross noises. He's gagging. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, on Don John, it was like the dude was like more satisfied by like watching porn and being his meat than by actual and women. Actual sex. Which is why I didn't bother watching that movie. No, I'm not going to watch that stupid shit. All right. So, Tevin, five dudes well, we- allowed to take your girl and you. Would not contest it Not that you cannot Allowed to Or the ones that she's told me No That are allowed to Like I think Like you can't even You don't even have a beef with it Either it's like For example Either it's like Terry Crews Where you know for a fact He could whoop your ass So you just like Hey I'm taking the L Or It's just like There's There's such a, a A beautiful man That it's just like You know what I'm not mad She's happy Well See my girl doesn't really like it's not about who, oh, just who I think. Yeah, it's out of you. I don't care what your girl thinks because girls have a totally different outlook than us. They have the outlook for those guys, like we have the outlook for the women. But this is your side of the guys she's allowed to go with. She's okay. allowed to leave you for. Like I said, prime example: Terry Crews, big ass swole dude. Really good guy. Nigga just come smacks your girl on the ass like I want you. No, he would never do that. Oh yeah, Terry Crews would. I hope that doesn't come through. That's gonna come through. Nah, I doubt it. It's gonna come through. Nah. Yeah, well I mean, he's a great guy. He's a big swole dude. He's swole as fuck. It's funny as hell. Yeah. I'd be like, you know what? Go with Terry Crews. Terry Crews, you can't have her. Is his wife black? I don't think his wife's black. Mm-hmm. I'm not looking that up. Mm. Okay, so but he a real ass nigga. He was, he is though. He's not on my list though. I mean, he's he's like an automatic on my list. He's like who's the goat? And people saying Michael Jordan. It's like you you're not unless you're an idiot LeBron fan. You can't. It's, it was undisputable. So okay. Terry Crews is number one on everybody's list. <laughs> so who are your individual five? Terry Crews, I fuck with you, my guy. Drake could possibly take my girl. Just just so she can see that the grass is not greener on the other side. Like she'd be like, Oh, Drake's gonna take real good care of me until he like he see, dates, takes her out, takes her to Gucci store one time, drops her back off and never calls her again. I'm just like Whoa. I feel I feel like you having a totally different outlook on this than I am. <laughs> what else? You have a totally different idea. She's told me that Drake is her one. This is not about her. I'm just telling you, like This is not about her, this is about you. It's about her. It's not. No, as this is about you. I mean, because I'm not like, oh, that nigga could take my girl. Okay, that that's the point. Now you have to think about it like that. <sighs> Normally you'd be like, man, fuck that. But no, in this case, you're not like, man, fuck that. That nigga that played in Moonlight, Trayvon Beatty's. I, I can't say his name. I want to call him Trevante Rose. Yeah, Trevante. It's Trevante, but it's not Rose. Yeah, it's Travante Rhodes. It's Tra- okay, so Travante H- Rhodes. He can take that nigga swole as fuck. Any handsome and shit. He can take Yeah, that's girl. a handsome guy. That's a handsome ass nigga. He that's that's my thing for my adult age. That's my that's my plus twenty that's my twenty five and on. It's like that's a handsome guy, that's a handsome guy. Yeah, that's a handsome ass. Can't be hating on him. Um I wouldn't say Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan looks like an average nigga that just made it. If I'm being real. Yeah, he's but he's like a handsome record. No, guy. he's just an averagely handsome nigga that just yeah. Like, but he's handsome. He's handsome, but he's not like OD OD handsome. Javon Rose, Javante Rose is OD OD handsome. I think you're being prejudiced because of their skin color, but I'm gonna let you cook. <laughs> it says let, a nigga that doesn't like a lot of these skin people. I'm just gonna let it go. It's, 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 so I, what, I, your three are Drake, Michael B. Jordan, and Travante Rhodes. I didn't say Michael B. Jordan. I said Michael B. Jordan couldn't take my girl. I my said nigga. Javante Rose I said Drake Can you Javante stay Rose. on topic God damn uh, Only I'm allowed to tangent 
<laughs> on else? the beauty that is Lapita. And Serena. And Serena. When your ass fucking drifted off in the Serena booty heaven. I mean, I've been on Serena since middle school. Shit, probably before that. Uh, Not before. It was just like, oh, yeah, the Williams sisters, black tennis player with the, with the beads. <laughs> I fucks with y'all heavily. <laughs> So you're Drake and Trevante Rhodes. Drake, Trevante Rhodes. Um, I don't understand why you don't have this prepared because I gave it to you. Because I didn't. And want I gave you time. Girl going off with other niggas and bro, possibly fucking them. <laughs> what? So you just gonna you just gonna yeah not give, be selfish as shit. You're just gonna not give our, our you're just Alba. You're not gonna give our eight podcast listeners uh content. Fuck you, nah, okay, fuck Idris. That's <laughs> question, Idris. Idris, the most interesting man. Idris, alive. Idris Alba could fuck anybody. Idris Alba, Idris Alba could fuck anybody before you found out that he fucked. Um, what's what's so good with the fake ass? Oh shit! What's her name? You're really off topic. Keep it going. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dragging this topic out on the wrong part. Uh, I'm trying to think. This dog making all this goddamn noise. He is though. <laughs> Fucking choke him so he go to sleep. Uh, probably Chadwick Bosman. Bosman. I think it's Bosman. Bosman. I think it's, I think it's Bosman. That's definitely showing up on the podcast. Can you like put them outside. <laughs> no, because the other dogs back there and they get into it every time they go out there. This is. <laughs> oh God, this dog is gross. Nice, smell it. Jesus. I'm trying to finish this shit off. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll add Michael B. Jordan just to say it, even though I don't want to. So Drake, Drake, Drake Trevante Rose, Rose Idris, Idris Michael, Michael B. B. Jordan. And you, you got one more. That's four. Um. Early 90s Denzel Washington That doesn't count Okay We can't do his story It gotta be today It gotta be today Yeah Fuck Yo girl right now Y'all go out on the weekend And they show up And they like Hey Shorty coming with me And you're like Yeah (laughs) alright Just go about your day Yeah okay Yeah that's fine Okay Okay Um I was gonna say LeBron, but nah. I could see LeBron. LeBron makes sense. I could see LeBron. His hairline too fucked up for him, for him to be trying yeah, to Yeah, but he's away. he's the greatest basketball player of this decade. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's definitely showing up on the mic. Can you see it? Is it popping up? I mean, I'm not looking at it, but I know the mic is picking that up because it's a condenser mic. People are gonna hear that. You're going to hear this dog making all this noise behind me. These gross noises. Hey. Bro, you got to like. Stop. We got to like put him somewhere. Can you put him in a different room? No. There's nowhere else to put this nigga. Put him, finish this all off. Put him in the bathroom. There's no room. He won't fit in the bathroom. I don't want to leave the nigga in the bathroom by himself. Yeah, he will. No, he won't. You act like the bathroom is that little. He's smaller than a human. I'm talking about out of his cage, right? Yeah He will tear shit up in there Like what the fucking porcelain toilet The the shower curtain This nigga eats the the little Throw we have over here So you're, you're gonna just ruin the podcast For the sake of your big enormous fucking dog That's making all these gross noises behind I mean, me Once the podcast is over the podcast is over When this nigga starts eating shit I still gotta deal with that shit Let's go ahead and say LeBron fuck it LeBron so yeah. Drake Drake Trevante Rose yeah. Michael B Idris And LeBron Like only three of those niggas Even matter The other two Fuck them You're just gonna ruin this segment Alright uh, <laughs> Alright Mills Already said Michael B Handsomest Medium tone nigga In history I wouldn't say handsomest Yes not the handsomest. Yes. No, he's not. Absolutely. No, he's not. Uh, of course, Idris, because I fucks I fucks with Idris the long way. The dude is great. Idris could take anybody's girl. The dude bro. is great. All women love Idris. 
we need we need Idris and Daniel in James Bond, where like Idris is like his dad or mentor, and Daniel is James Bond. We need them both in the nigga from Get Out. Yeah, we I hate need them. the nigga from Get Out. Why? I don't like him. Why? He just I don't know. He just his face. He makes this. He made the same the same faces he made in Get Out. He made in Black Panther. Cause yeah, it's his fucking face, and I hate his fucking face. You just hate ass <laughs> I just don't, don't like. Don't hate his on face. Daniel. If you could, we, pick- we need James Bond been British I'd since his see- inception. It's only been one actual English person who's James Bond, and we know two English people that are fucking masculine and good actors, and we want both them niggas in. I'd the rather movie. pick John Boyega. Is it? Is it? Is I could play James Bond right now. No. Yeah. Daniel no, Craig because is, we need we need Daniel. See, that's the problem. We don't need. See, I, Idris. Yeah, he can play James Bond right now. But then, what what's Daniel gonna do in James Bond? Nothing. Fuck him. Okay, that's the problem. We need <laughs> both of them. No, we don't. We I uh, rather we see John Boyega before I see Daniel. No, John Boyega is gonna be Q. He's gonna be the the the, the smart sign. nigga. Yeah, he's gonna be the the inventor who James Bond always undermines. I but he, Daniel be who always cute uses the last word. He just doesn't seem like. The no, John nigga. Boyega has. I just don't like. No, him. John Boyega has the 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 comedic timing to be cute because he's gonna be giving quips. He's gonna be dissing on. He's gonna be like, "Oh, did you sleep with another bitch?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not gonna say bitch, but I want to say bitch really loud. It's like, "Oh, you slept with someone else, huh? Be nice if you showed up." On time for once, I don't you know, to, to get your debriefing. I, so I'd pick anybody. So no, we can have Chadwick Boss in place. But that, but Chadwick's not English. How we do we have to have an English person? You know, yeah. If the motherfuckers to, come over here and, and fucking Idris Alba fake hey. the Baltimore accent for for how many years? We can go over. Yeah, there and but fake how English dope was he at Stringer Bell? Like who else is gonna be Stringer? Uh, plenty of other no uh, Baltimore niggas could fucking no Daniel Kaluuya couldn't be Stringer. Uh, what's his name? John Boyega couldn't be stringer. It's gotta be Idris. Idris was perfect as stringer. We don't need. We can go over there and fake their accent. They come over there and fake our accent. Let's go over there and fake their accent. No. Yes. I need Daniel. Michael B. Jordan. I need Daniel Kaluuya. Michael I need B. Idris. I need John Boyega I just in a James don't Bond movie. Like that nigga. I Stop. Just don't uh, like well, him. this is you had your turn. You shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> He's been a bitch, nigga, in no. all the movies that I've seen so, him in. So it's Michael B. I got. <laughs> I got. I got the dark skinned guy, Idris. Um, so there. So here's a wild card in mind. No, I'm gonna say that for the last. Okay. Okay. Will Smith. I fucks with Will Smith a long way. I've watched Fresh Prince all the way through at least four times. So Will Smith is an important part of my life. Sneaker culture, hooping, saying corny <laughs> shit to girls, and somehow getting them. It's all Will Smith. <laughs> so you saying that if Will Smith came up to you and was like, "I want your girl." Uh, I I my guy I fucks with Fresh Fresh Prince off that strength alone yes right, and he made Men in Black he made getting jiggy with it you got it he yeah. made Summertime you got it I mean he wasn't a real rapper but I'm not gonna hold that against him yeah, Will Smith got bars uh yeah he had writers guy Will Smith ain't had no Will Smith had writers Will Smith made his own songs no he didn't. <laughs> no really? he didn't Nas wrote getting jiggy with it really yes. Wow What about Summertime I don't know I feel like Will Smith Was a writer No He was a rapper So There's no need to argue Parents just don't understand He was a rapper Before he was a yeah. uh, Actor Steve Stout confirms Nas wrote on Will Smith Getting jiggy with it uh, Just because you write on shit I mean you wrote the shit Okay If you're an OG rapper All this shit coming out your head So people writing for you No Okay hmm. So Will Smith no, 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 Fucks no, no, with Will Smith I like to blight. I think that was a good movie. That was pretty dope. That's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's either you love oh, and, blight uh, or you extremely hate it. And uh, I am legend. I am legend. Was you you know the thing about Will Smith? He can make me cry. Like when he's re- like when he's really about to cry and rose, I be like, "Damn, son!" Like, <laughs> like damn, chill, bro. chill, dog. He has like the he has the perfect like. Damn, this really just really hit me right in my in my heart muscle cry face. Like <laughs> Will Smith can make me cry. I, I just gotta take that like pursuit of happiness, nigga. I'm crying at the end of the house. Oh yeah, definitely. That's why I've that. only that's why, nigga, he got the job, bro. I, that's why I've only watched like four sevenths of that movie. 
bro. That shit hard. Cause it, 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 it hits so hard. Like Will Smith, between that and then when they had to sleep in the bathroom, bro. Between that, like those three moments on Fresh Prince, Independence I am Day. I am, I am legend, legend. bro. When, I when the nigga, little, the little dummy came out, and he was like, "You tell me right now if you real." Bro, I leg- when he had to kill his dog. Oh man, bro, I was legit. No, let me tell you, I was in actual tears when he did that. When he killed the dog, I was in actual tears. Hmm. Actual tears. I'm not even. This is not even a joke. This ain't a bit. It's like I was <laughs> in tears. Oh my like, god, damn! All right, Chadwick, Chadwick, Southern ass nigga. You know, that nigga was like 41 nigga is The youngest looking nigga In the world right now Chadwick Southern nigga Alright Where's he from? He's from South Carolina Not only is he from the south He's from a state That starts with south Like <laughs> only, Super only, south Only way he could be Higher on my list Is if he was from Texas Or that Louisiana That nigga definitely Has a picture of him In some plaid shorts Somewhere Only way I'm shirt, telling you Only way he could be size. Higher on my list Is if he was from Houston or Louisiana <laughs> That's it uh, brought back the froze, so we gotta learn kung fu and grow froze. Oh yeah, definitely. And then um, Lance Gross. Oh, I forgot about that nigga, bro. Yeah, I ain't a, seen him in forever. I forgot about him. Let's see what he's been in. Is it seem like you haven't seen? I know he was on. Uh, he was everywhere at one point. He was on a bunch of shows too. Didn't he get like Sexiest Man in America at some point? I'm not sure about that. I forgot about Lance uh, let's, Gross. Let's check his filmography. So, oh, I'm uh, so confused. He was on Meet the Browns. He's been TV he's show. he's been working on uh Tyler Perry stuff. Oh, yeah. So as far as uh movies, he was on Ty, uh, Meet the Browns, The Last Fall, Tyler Perry's Temptations. I remember Temptations. Uh, the Phenom Deuces When Love Kills. So he's not that high, that uh, high profile movies. Then uh, as far as shows, Tyler Perry's House of Pain, yeah, Steel Magnolias, Dice City Crisis, Grey's Anatomy, Sleepy Hollow Tales. Uh, yeah, so he's he's not an A lister. He's probably like B. So much, maybe, maybe. I'm saying it's crazy because at one point he was every fucking where. Maybe C, but that's a good looking dude. That's a good looking dude. That is a, that good, is, looking that is a good looking dude. I forgot about this. Sh- and then, um, so my dark, my uh, my dark horse is like that. It may have been like three years ago. There was a picture of a dude on Tumblr. He had like stupid long hair. It was like a dark skinned dude. And he had like super long hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it's like what the fuck I'm gonna do against that. <laughs> What I'm gonna do against that? This nigga, this nigga swole, fucking dark skin, and he got fucking twenty inch cool, cool, hair. Yeah, yeah. Don't even matter what he say. He could just he could he could basically come and be like Link and just take my girl. Huh? <laughs> uh-uh, huh? Yeah, yeah, you got it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Just have text boxes appear in front of me. And she's coming with me. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Baby, you're gonna have to go with him now. <laughs> you talk to him like, <laughs> like, like a child. You're gonna have to go with mommy now. <laughs> I can't go. Yeah, you coming with me now? You gotta go with the teacher, baby. Look, baby, I love you. You're gonna have to go with him now. I'm sorry. You gotta get, get down on your knees. <laughs> you gotta go with him. I'm sorry. Well, Just look, look, he said. He said. He said. He said. Huh? <laughs> he said you're coming with him. I mean, uh, uh, there's huh? nothing else I can do. That's it. And everybody around you is like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Full circle. She's just gone. And then he just like <laughs> he, just, off. he just pulls up on a on like a, a jet black horse. He just gives you like the little nod. <laughs> and they just, just go off. Just just a soft slow motion nod just. <laughs> she just looks at you. And then rise, rise, rise off with his hair flowing in the wind. Like, what the fuck I'm gonna do against that? You see a little bit in the face as he's going on. Oh. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna be like he's elegant, so it's just gonna like it's just gonna just, just brush you yeah, it's just gonna brush like tickle my cheek. <laughs> it feels soft, and like it's like silky. And, and then I reach out for it, but I do, my fingertips it. miss it just by just by millimeters. Like, oh, 
These niggas just disappear like ghosts. <laughs> they just disappear like ghosts. <laughs> like, did it even happen? <laughs> Did I even have a good it's like, with? It's like, bro, it's only like 1.15 p.m. Why is there already a sunset? What <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> and the sunrise at the same time. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Where did all these animals come from? What the hell? Oh, man. So that's the thing we did. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. a fucking thing we did. Hey, so if anybody has any other... Suggestions for crazy things we gotta come up with. Just send them shits to uh Space City Brothers at gmail dot com. Spell it out, Space City Brothers. S P A C E No Spaces C I T Y B R O T H E S T H E R S excuse me at Gmail dot com. Space City Brothers at Gmail dot com. Yes. Send us crazy stuff. Entitle it podcast subject. Yes So we know what and it we is And we'll be sure to either look at it and get back to you Or look at it and Just not probably it. delete it <laughs> <laughs> Just not bother But yeah if you have any other crazy ideas Send them those shits Or questions we might start answering questions on this You know what just send us Just just send us an email whatever you want to say send Or us an have Amazon a podcast email send, us, send, us, send me key codes So I, can, I don't have to pay for God of War Coming out on That's the only reason I have my Playstation still Cause I'm waiting for God of War and Spider-Man Send me 10 years of Xbox Live Right I could use that shit They took money out of my account today I was like fuck I still pay for this shit What the fuck I'm still paying for this <laughs> Yeah Niggas been a member I remember when they sent me a 10 year A 10 year fucking <laughs> Like like a ten year email. I was like, and it didn't come. It didn't come with anything. I was like, just you could have saved this shit. Like, oh, you've been around for ten yeah. years, huh, nigga? <laughs> Look it up. Like, like they just it just popped on their dash. Oh, this nigga's been here for a minute. Uh, let me go send him a congratulations. Thank you for continuously paying your ten dollars a month supporting our Microsoft empire. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Keep you. Keep doing it, you fucking slave. Thank you, as slimy can, motherfucker. Thank you, as we control. Uh, a whole third of the entire gaming community And your PCs and laptops Dickhead Fuck you <laughs> like, it's either That us, was an email It's either us or Apple What the fuck you gonna do nigga yeah, Bitch <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> You're like oh you What you gonna do Go over to PC gaming fuck You gonna troll that too motherfucker What the fuck you gonna do Use Linux Nigga yeah. you don't even know What the fuck you doing <laughs> Oh man Just in case you ever get Get the bright idea to you know Build a PC and not have to pay for online services anymore. Don't. We'll find you. Nah, we got your shit, nigga. <laughs> you know those those pictures you sent to your girlfriend one night? Yeah, we got those, nigga. Got your shit, nigga. Yeah, you might have thought you deleted it. Thought you, nah, it's thought you were gonna handle it, nah, nigga. Nah, we still got that shit, boy. We'll put that shit out, nigga. Who gonna convict us? We control everybody's laptop. <laughs> That's Bill Gates. <laughs> to y'all niggas, <laughs> Bill, Bill Gates just uh just got a, a a satellite laser in the sky and it just ends your internet forever. <laughs> you can never get internet just in your house period. again. Like not even just in your house anywhere. Anytime you try to log on to it, it just shuts down instantly. You you have been a fuck nigga. You get you don't a, get internet. You get a new phone that hell just will not connect <laughs> to any internet. You can go to Starbucks, try to use the Wi Fi. That hell doesn't like, no. work. <laughs> just doesn't work. You, brand new phone in Starbucks and that you've never been to before it just doesn't work. He just <laughs> <laughs> he's got a team of people and you know how like they, they just follow you around. No, they don't follow you. You know how like the drones, like the drone pilots, they're yeah. just in like a strip mall and like. Seattle, Washington, and they just control it from there. Yeah. He just has people watching you from in a location like that. Just sleeper agents. <laughs> Not even sleeper agents. They're in like full, full, full they're in full, full Microsoft yeah, they're uniform. Just, they're just in a Microsoft polo and some khakis <laughs> with some uh with some computer glasses. Some out of shape white dudes. Some no, they're in shape. That's they're the thing. Shape. Cause they're in Microsoft. So they're in they're in Oh, what if they're cyborgs? They're in, no, they're not cyborgs. They're just dudes in peak physical shape. <laughs> just All following of them, around, shutting just, off your internet. Just swole ass go. dudes, just following you with like a with a joy with a, a joystick. Oh yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I got. All right, we got them. Yeah, Latitude seventy three, longitude seventy two. Every time you buy a new product, somebody just comes and knocks it out of your hand. No, not even that. It just the, like it doesn't work. They're like, oh, he's going to invest by. All right, Zappo. I just bought. Sir, can I return this phone? I just sorry, no. We have no. Uh, we have no return policy. But you say returns good for not for you, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you got anything else? No, I'm pretty much good. We've been thoroughly distracted. So we're going to call that the Space City Brothers Podcast. Yes, it is. Live from the home of the players and pimps. Yeah, you forgot it at the beginning. I did. And I'm going to cut out that part, too. Don't be an asshole. That's our, that's our tag. You can't tell me what to do. That's our tags. Uh, quick shout outs. Shout out to shout out the to listeners, the potential listeners. Shout out to... Uh, Houston, Texas. Be sure to, you know, share this, comment, like, comment, like it, share, listen to it two or three times. It. Yeah, don't I mean, get, we're not even charging. It's not Black Panther. We're not charging you to go see it. Don't, don't get, listen to it. Don't get fired. Yeah, I'm tripping. I need to go start cinema. That's what I need to do. Uh, shout out to Lupita. Shout out to Michael B. Shout out to uh, Leticia. You want to talk about Black Panther real quick? Shout out to Chadwick. Shout out to uh, what's the dude named Winston? Winston Duke. Shout out to Winston Duke. Stole yes. the show. That nigga. Bro, made. Killmonger is three best character was Shuri, Killmonger, and uh, and Baka. Shout out to uh, Shorty who played Shuri. I do not remember. Daniel Kaluuya's character was a bitch nigga. I forgot about Danny. I mean, he. I, I tell you what, he moved the plot, and that's what you need. I just hate his face. He he made the plot go. There was really no white people in this movie. Yeah, it was only two, two main, ones. three. It was two main character white people, and then I like three or four showed up, and only time. three had a speaking role. Because remember the lady at the museum? She had a speaking oh, role. I about I, her. That was about it. Oh, and I forgot the security guard too. I mean, I guess for getting shot in the back. This <laughs> nigga said, um, "Go ahead and run." Uh, I want you to tell everybody what happened here. And the nigga just read. <laughs> so why'd you shoot him in the back? Oh, because he wanted to spread the crime scene out, make it look like it's amateurs. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? He's like, damn, I'm learning new shit from you already. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I don't think that helped bro, anything at all. I kind of, I'm kind of sad. Killmonger died. Like, I really want him to still be alive so he can fight. Nah. In Infinity War. Nah. I don't want Michael Jordan be Michael Jordan Michael B. Jordan <laughs> Michael Jordan B. Michael B. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan to um like not exist in the Marvel universe anymore. I mean maybe he'll be like Bucky Barnes and just end up showing back up. I hope so. That'd be dope. Yeah, you know, he had to die. Yeah, he had to. He had I was thinking they could save him, but I, he like he said I don't want to. He had no to prison. die. He had to die for T'Challa. To realize the difference he had for T'Challa to actually realize the change he had to make, he had to die. Bro, that is just so great. Like, people will be like, oh, Killmonger was such a bad dude. Well, nigga, if your daddy was killed by his brother. No, he was still a bad dude. Yeah, he was a bad he dude. Had, he but had like his, they motivations, understand. his motivations. His motivations were best. logical. Yes. But of his all methods the villains, were terrible. Of all the villains, his motivations were more logical than. Loki being mad because he's adopted or some weird shit like that. It was just a dick. The first Iron Man villain was just a rich nigga who wanted to be even more rich, and be more powerful. Dude was the royalty. It was like, you know what? You're not my family. Fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> basically, it just I was wants like, to ruin they just, everything. Like nigga, daddy, to Taka just left. I just still can't get over the fact that you left your brother's own Body. son. And his body. Yeah, that's the thing. He just let them there. Like no matter what he did, you let you basically just cut your brother off and was like fuck that nigga. And they can't understand. Well, it's why. even the fact that he killed him. It's like okay, yeah, he pulled a gun out. It's like you couldn't have just disarmed him. You could have just cut his arm off or something. Like he just stabs well, him nigga, in the it's chest. Not even your motherfucking your blood, bro. And his only crime was wanting to help black people. No, his crime was that he sold out the secrets oh, to Wakanda to a I terrorist who got people killed. What the fuck is wrong with you? I forgot that shit. 
niggas had a whole a whole terrorist attack on their border. He definitely had a bunch of niggas get killed and stole their precious vibranium. And you like all he did was love a woman. <laughs> I know, no, nigga. I'm a kind of that. Well, you see how you see. Fucking, that's why you need to go see it again so you can understand what uh, the hell. I remember what I just completely forgot about that part. What the, fuck, what the hell is wrong? I completely. With you? And then Danny over here riding for a nigga whose daddy killed his parents, basically. Well, that makes sense because it's like he he was out for blood. He wanted vengeance. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about Killmonger's pops being the one that caused the explosion for the shit. He didn't. Yeah, no, he didn't cause it. He he gave away the secrets to to Wakanda that allowed the person to get in. Yeah, that so person he was, was the problem. What's his face? But no, but see, his that character didn't know about that in particular. Oh. He just learned. He like he was just he just knew that the guy who actually caused the explosion and killed his parents. He wanted him. To, he wanted vengeance for that. But I'm saying like, and it was the only, only reason why he was able to do that was because Killmonger's pops was out here being a chatty patty, chatty Kathy. Yeah, but he didn't know about that. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. He didn't know, but I'm saying. Yeah, so he all he knew was this person killed his parents and T'Chaka had not apprehended him. So when T'Challa came in, he's like, I want he's like, I want I Either want him, him dead. Or bring him back. He's like, I want him dead. And the only thing, see, the thing about it is, is that he wanted to change and the change didn't happen. So he yeah. was like, I mean, fuck everybody. Basically. That was the thing. He was, just, he was just an impatient African person. That nigga said, would you, would you kill me, the love of your life? And she's like, yeah. Kingdom? Yeah. She's like, yeah. Nigga was just like, fuck. Well, <laughs> well, go and throw my arms down there. Like, that is not. <laughs> that doesn't bode well for me. It's like. Cause she will do it yeah, <laughs> She like, can She's the most capable person On this island right now That can do it He's like I can't just have This fine ass woman Just murder me like that Bruh Like come on man When when she stepped in front of the rhino And the nigga just licked her Licked her face And walked off It was like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> This bitch might be the best Who, who Bro you just called her a bitch What's I'm wrong sorry. with you I apologize I can't remember her name But I apologize You owe her a hundred dollars I do I'm gonna send it to your PayPal Send me the PayPal link To Space City Brothers at uh, gmail.com and I will make sure to get back to you with that hundred dollars. I didn't realize she was the girl that plays um Michonne oh, from Walking Dead. I kept looking at her face and I could not it would not click until I thought about it. Somebody put like a side by side and then it know, clicked. I didn't know about it until I listened to a podcast that talked about it and yeah. was like she's from there. I was like, Oh the hair makes a difference. The, that terrible wig makes a difference. Yeah. But I mean, how do you go? How do you go? How do you go from being in one of the, the biggest movies of all time at this point to, to going back to, to walking regular ass TV? So like well, that's she probably, be- I should probably finish out her con. So I heard, not I heard, but like the podcast I listened to because I was listening to the the um, the Watch podcast because yeah. they they were talking about the Marvel universe from. Starting from Iron Man, like the current MCU, yeah. they're like, you know what? They need to just have her killed on that show to get her off the show and just get her into bigger shit. <laughs> Basically, because she's an amazing actress, she really is an amazing actress. I ain't gonna lie, I've not watched a single episode of Walking Dead, but I love her character. All the ones that all the episodes she plays in are dope. Like when she when Rick was finished, Rick was wild or some shit. He was a security guard for Alexandria, and he was wild and. And he was talking shit to somebody, and she just comes out of nowhere and sneaks that nigga and knocks him out. <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I don't even need. I don't even need all that. Dark just skin, see. beautiful, and got a dark sword. skin woman with a katana and dreads, bro. Like, bro, like she she probably is one of the smartest survivalists on that show. That's just the dopest shit. Yeah. She so. got her ass whooped though. I'm not gonna lie. She they she won, but. That girl beat the shit out of her. <laughs> that title, I think it was the what, last season. Yeah, last season's. I mean, that doesn't last count. I don't watch that Season show. finale. <laughs> that doesn't count. Whooped her ass. Show. She threw her ass off the building, though, but she whooped her ass. She won't see her in the streets, though. <laughs> I love her. She's great. That wig does not do nothing for you, though. She's beautiful, too. That's, that's... She is really beautiful. Bro, have you seen her smile? Bro, she has an amazing, like, all dark skinned women. Have amazing fucking smiles. Yeah. 
So I know Davis, Lupita Nyong'o, her, uh, Daniel Brooks, Amazing Smiles, April Ryan, Amazing Smile, Fantasia has an Amazing Smile. Aja Naomi King, I probably messed that up. Yeah, beautiful smile, yeah. Michelle Obama. Yeah, Issa Rae, Amazing Smile. Bro, Issa Rae, her smile is amazing. Bro. Did you see that one with Bro. that meme that said Gucci Man look like Issa Rae? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> My girl has an amazing smile too. I love her gap. Her little gap, bro. I love when my girl smiles, especially yeah. when she do that full face smile. Bro. And be squinting and yes, shit. Yes, dog. Oh, shit. I mean, I was just, she was sitting there watching TV. I was showing her something. She was just smiling. I just couldn't stop looking at her, bro. I love when my girl smiles. You know what? That's a good way to go out on Space City Bros podcast. Join us next time. As we discuss. Um, Whatever random things we think of The five week. ways you're allowed to have your shoelaces uh, Malfunction <laughs> What? <laughs> Top five acceptable shoelace malfunctions <laughs> We out Follow us on oh, yeah. uh, iTunes so, Are we on iTunes? So we, we, gotta, gonna, we gotta redo it So we're gonna try to get on as many plat- uh, As many platforms as possible So Look, be on the lookout for. Well, this isn't coming out for several weeks anyway. So be on the At lookout for iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher. Stitcher. Um, I heard it's really tough to get on Spotify. Apparently, they're just not on the ball for putting podcasts on their platform. I mean, and they still, try, they still trying to get this music shit. So yeah, Correct. look for us on different platforms. Uh, follow our Twitter. Our at, Twitter at. Um, <laughs> you are so unprepared I don't be remembering the names and shit You are so unprepared Waiting on it Space what? City Brothers Podcast at Space Space City Bro Pod That's at S-P-A-C-E-C-I-T-Y B-R-O-P-O-D That's why I say spell everything out Space City Brothers So we can just say Space City Brothers We don't have to try to spell out things or oh, the name is Space City Brothers Podcast. Or just search for Space City Brothers on uh, Twitter. Trying to get on iTunes. Trying uh, to get on... Uh, the Instagram is Space City Bros Insta. And, uh, yeah, we're going to plan on creating a Patreon. So if y'all want to donate a little something, uh, PayPal it's us. And e- cheeseburgers. Email us at Space City Brothers at gmail dot com. Peace. We out. Real talk, nigga. All facts. Look how I run it up. Look how I run it up. Look how I'm coming up. But wish you was one of us. See how that money come. Paper cut fingers from counting that money up. Praying emojis. The blessings keep coming. I know I can't have enough. Never on E. Took off on haters. There's no need to gas me up. I'm patting my lead. I'm too far ahead and there's no way you catching up. 